Hey there guys, I'm Dex 564 and this continuation file let's play of Pillars of Eternity. And here we are in Eastern Wood. I decided to check out this area before we actually go on into the uh, old keep, basically. And uh, there I want to restore my old keep itself, I think. It's called Citadel, something like that. So, we'll see what we can see here. Maybe we can find something interesting. We'll, I don't know. This looks like it's lit somewhere. Probably some kind of cave or a graveyard or something. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, looks like it. We haven't actually mapped any skeletons yet, but let's try it out. Okay. Uh, yep, they're actually quite easily killed. What's this? Oh. Okay, let's kill the guys first. Yeah, they're pretty easy to kill. So I'll try not to use my spells or anything. Uh, actually, I'm I'm hoping not to rest here. I'm hoping I'll be able to rest at my castle. Okay, some some stuff that I don't actually need. Uh, but first off, let's check out the Stella. Oh, it's a mem memorial or something. Okay, I think it's uh, is it Beckers or something? Maybe I don't know. Boat of Obsidian Order. Peter Davis. <laughs> I don't know what is it. I don't know. Well, it's definitely some sort of a uh, uh, Easter egg. There's another Stella. I know. Well, probably just some Mr. Egg that I don't understand. Some sort of crossbow. Um. Well, let's put it into the stash for now. We'll see later. There's some sort of a mausoleum here. Doesn't look like there's anything uh, we can use here, it seems. Mm. Terrace Research Lab. Okay, I know. I wonder where this leads. This exit leads. Maybe it leads to some other area. Uh, no, it does look like it. Probably leads back to Guild Vale. Uh, though, I'm thinking. Uh, can we? No. Let me see. Uh, I'm thinking if we'll go directly east, we can actually get somewhere. Like some sort of area that will lead here to the river. Maybe we'll, maybe it'll lead to... what's it called? Uh, remember that uh, stash of weapons that we actually had, like this one. Uh, and in the, in the node there was uh, a mention of some kind of um in the gift so if if we find uh Krunt in the gift maybe the gift is somewhere in there so we'll try to find that i'm thinking this road leads directly to it 
So if we'll follow it, we should be able to get there. Hmm, there's something in the tree. Some kind of runes. Or something. Uh, the carvings glisten with fresh sap. Okay. Yeah, there's like runes all over the place. And there's a deer. Um, does it lead somewhere? No, I'm thinking this leads to Black Meadow. So we'll go, we'll continue on m moving east along the road. Oh, that's that crazy children. Okay, they're dead. What do we have here? Oh, some spear spiders. Again, not too concerned about them. Taking a bit of damage on Adar, but should be fine. Okay, they're tired already. Really? Well, I guess they, yeah, they didn't sleep for some time, but... <laughs> uh, some Ramhorn helmet, that's interesting. Uh, some silver, that's fine. Uh, what's this? Minus 800 for, to fatigue. Uh, sure, why not we use it on... Uh, say... One will do it one and somebody else will it one. Um, so, how was I to... Ah, screw that. Let's just, like, put one to the quick, quick slot and we'll eat one. And then I'll just give it to another person. Here. Um. So, why doesn't it reduce fatigue? Didn't it? Hmm, I don't know. Yes. Well, we'll see. Let's actually... Why don't we give it to Kana here? And... Uh, where did it? You'll hit it, eventually. Well, you should... You know what? You should eat something as well, because I'm not using the food food that much. Hmm? So why don't you go and eat? Sure, chicken sounds great. How may I help? Hmm? Yes. There's a stock here. Can we do anything to it? Does look like it. Oh. Well, this leads north, I think, to nowhere. And uh, we're almost to the most eastern point of the map. So. Oh. Hello. Hold, sir, but a moment. A hooded man waits upon the road clad in green cloak. He strides forward to meet you as you approach, and at the closer distance his features are revealed for those of a younger man, those aligned with weariness. He appears to be f favoring his left leg as he walks, and there is a dark strain upon the fabric of his trousers under the knee. Even so, he greets you with a polite bow. I do not know your purpose in traveling this road, friend, but I would warn you against it. 
He gestures up the pass with sweep of his hand. For the keep, for the keep beyond belongs to that tyrant which called himself uh, Lord of the Gilded Vale. Like many tyrants, he has surrounded himself with strong men and women for the fear of retribution. The man smiles thinly. And so, you're warned. If you would press on despite that, however, I will. I wonder if we might not help one another. Uh, who are you, first of all? Only men determined to see Gilded Vale restored to its former glory. Uh, there was a time stranger when Gilded Vale was worthy of its, of its name. Uh, the wheat st shone like gold on the hills, and the village people lived well. <laughs> I don't know about the golden crops, but there were less flies anyway. And what has become of it now? Whatever has caused the blight upon our lands, it is not the fault of its people. Roderick looks to punish us for crimes we have not committed, and in, trun in, in, and in turn he is blind to his own. I'm not, and he'll pay for what he's done. I call swearied by the flame. Oh, great, that's the rebel leader. Mm. Well, it depends. I do not help others out of charity. I see. His tone spells some disappointment. Well, if I cannot appeal to your sense of justice, perhaps uh, your pra practical n nature will suffice. For the task I ask of you would improve all of our fortunes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, he tells he that his wife may be at risk as well. We have not stood idle. My people and I breached the defenses, intent on ending Redrick's rule over ourselves. We entered through the sewers under cover of night, but we were we were routed. His dark face darkens. There are dark creatures down in the dungeons. Uh, the work of Redrick Animancers. Animancer. It falls to you. Lord Redrick has called for further enforcement, and soon there will be no stopping him. Our times grow short, and in this hour I must beg assistance where I where I can. It's going to owe us more than some rubble stone plot of land after this. Uh, that's true. <laughs> Fling him from the rampants, or else cut his head off from his shoulders. I care not. Once his throne lies empty, Gilded Fell will have stewardship that it deserves. Whatever your reasons, I can promise you that your raid will not go anywhere unrewarded. Lord Frederick has amassed the spoils for a long reign, and and end it, and you may take your fill. Okay, that's that's much more interesting then. But what try? Uh, well, yeah, I'm a noble. Actually, that would be very appropriate to say. But what right would you un unseat a thane of Drywood? Perhaps things are different ab abroad, stranger, but here in Drywood we do not bow before self-made lords, nor suffer the cruel whims of nobles that do not reserve their titles. We extend the same courses to the gods that don't deserve their titles as well. Uh, Lord Tradric has proven himself incapable of just rule. He has brought his f fate upon himself. Well, uh, yeah, I think I will find Redrick and I'll deal with him. I commend you on your courage and thank you for your assistance, but I would not send you onward without your warning. Redrick's hold is crawling with soldiers and sellsort all over to Roderick. They will not take kindly to intruders. In truth, they will be all the more alert for our failed efforts. Frontal assault would be unwise. If you would brave it, you could follow our steps and seek out the entrance to the sewers at the eastern edge of the moat. Okay. But several of my men were c captured. It may be the entrance has been found and sealed anew. Those men were under my command. I would be in your debt if you could find some means of helping them. Once you make it inside, seek out my old friend, Nedmar. 
He's the highest high priest. Baratheon. Uh, now that the shining god has fallen, a good man in difficult circumstances, he will listen to no to reason. Uh, Doran's turtles near nearly choking on his own disdain. Shining god, he never shone so brightly as when the the bomb took him. The moniker is obsolete now. Ash does not shine. It's like if someone was to call you the attractive priest, Durance. Nedmer can help you to reach Frederick, but he resides in the upper level of Frederick's Hall, protected by guards and mercenaries. You'll have to keep this to the to shadows if you mean to reach him without alarming the entire keep. Well, uh, yeah, that would be probably hard. Uh, Uh, no, no sense in wasting resources if it's, if it is necessary. I'll keep your advice in mind. Spoken like a tactician, keep your wits about you, and I'm sure you'll prove the victor. I wait word for your success. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm in it for the money. But let's check the um, the rest of the road. And I like don't like absolutely don't like that we're that we're fatigued. Oof. Some witches. I will probably have to rest anyways before I actually go to to the Roderick Roderick's castle. So sleep would do me good. Yeah. Most of my guys are fatigued. Yeah, we'll sleep. I'll make camp here and we'll continue to the castle. But before we actually go there, let me make sure that the next area is actually a castle cuz you know resting would be moot yep redrick's hold okay um yeah we'll do that let's rest here and let's move towards redrick castles So we need to find um, the entrance to the sewer east of the wall, east of the moat, and uh, from then we need to get to some sort of a priest of uh, for the former god or something. Uh, let me check. Mm. Nedmar, yeah. Okay, let's try that. So let's look for the moat and then we'll try to go to the east side of it. This is the home of the man responsible for those hanging corpses. You don't plan on knocking, do you? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Berthold restoration is complete. You have no business here, Lord Tragic is not permitting any visitors, merchant, traveling entertainers. Best turn right around. Okay, I'll be leaving. Goodbye. East of the moat. Okay, it's somewhere in here. Mm, somewhere. No? Oh, probably nice we could quiet. use like something like this. No. Um, uh, no, doesn't look like it. Well, it's still not east of the source, right? Let's 
keep quiet. Okay, let's let's go like this. Because I'm thinking we we might miss the the entrance to the sewers. Yep, I think we've missed it. <laughs> mm. Okay. So we can actually... Yeah, we don't need to return to uh, Stronghold to actually do the... the upgrades, so that's great. Mm. Restore Great Hall and... Visitors and adventures to be available to your companion and to you and your companions. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Plus, the restoring the keep requires uh, c can follow up to the next lots of upgrades, so that's no brainer, frankly. It will be finished in three days. Okay. Um, then we might actually want to upgrade barracks, you know, to defend the keep. I think that would would be wise. But we'll see. Okay, where is that entrance? To the east of the... Pretty sure it should be somewhere in here. See what lies this way. Hmm. Or is it further away from... Okay, let me check the journal once again. The mo... the... Entrance through the sewers at the eastern edge of the moat. Okay, so that's east. There's nothing here. Can it be somewhere here? There's nothing here. Oh, herpty derp. Sent in the base of the keep outer wall, a uh, surrogate spills mur murky fall smelling water into the keep surrounding moat. Sleek mossy stone from the precarious bridge across the mur murky water. Good thing we have a primer. Ahead, the iron bars of the sewer gate block the passage. The bars are coated with rust, and several appear to bend or sit in a strange angle. Th there may have been uh, weakened enough that you could bend them, given them the means. The constant rush of full water against the grate makes maneuvering difficult, but you manage to place pry bar between two of the more heavily rusted bars and give it a heavy push. In the groan, one of the iron bars begins to give. You have, you heave, and at last the bar snaps free of its base and with a crunch. Beyond the broken gate, a dark passage leads further into the keep. Murky water flows through, through it in a continuous stream. 
I'll swim through it. You take a deep breath to forestall the acid stench around you and slip forward into the flooded tunnel. The walls soon fade from view as you plunge into forborn darkness. It's hard going and after several moments then begin to f flag behind, fatigued. Okay. Everybody except Edar, basically. But as you swim on, light begins to filter through the murky waters ahead of you. You press on, seeking the seeking out the source until you find yourself standing beneath the circular gap in the tunnel wall. And a way out. Okay. So that fatigued my guys because they probably didn't have atle athletics. Um, so, well, we... Did I did I rest actually? Yes, I did rest. So mm, that's not good. But well, mm, I guess I'll f continue on with even though I'm fatigued, and then we'll see actually how it goes. Probably we'll try to rest somewhere. Um. Okay. Wait. And sound. We'll keep to Let's try to unlock this one. What do we have here? Mm, I don't know. But looks like wood. Development of Crucible Knights. Um, well, it's some kind of lore book. Well, we'll put it into the storage and some silver which is nice how much money do we have close to 600 uh, we can actually go through here uh, or we can move through here I guess through that sewer but let's uh, check out this passage first Uh, Let's see what we found. Oh, yep, that looked like trap. I want to say, and it did. It was. How can we see here? Uh, can my? Hmm? Can you disable it? Yep. Okay, good. Let's I move shall. on. And there's sarcophagi in there. Uh, some sort of a zombie. Oh, let's attack it. That's really good position, only like... Some of them can attack me. And even they don't do all that much damage. I think like only the skeleton does some damage, but even he doesn't do a lot. So we can easily def defeat them. Okay. Um, let's put it all to the stash. We'll sell it later. And there was some guy walking around here. Uh, let's take care of him. Before we actually proceed, let's uh, scout the area a bit. Just to make sure there are no nice surprises here. Mm, yeah, it doesn't look like much. Yep, there's some sort of a blob. Some silver from the that blob thing. Really? See what <laughs> where where did it keep it? And more importantly, on what did it spend it? <laughs> oh, there's some kind of entrance here. Let's see what we have here. Okay, there's an entry. Uh, there's a trap of some sort. I'm assuming, right? What's this? Yep, trap. Hmm? Can we disarm it? Oh no, wait. 
Okay, yes, we can. Let's check it out here. What do we have here? Just an entrance? Uh, yep, yeah, but I think it's just the same entrance that led to the same room. Okay. Uh, let's continue here a bit. Let's try to enter this room with some loot. Okay, looks clear. And looks like there's lots of stuff here. And this leads, I'm assuming, to the top of the keep. Mm. So we will not go there f just yet. We'll probably. Let's see what we found. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Yes? Good thing we're, like, sneaking around here. Oh, some. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, who do I want to give it to? Uh, reflex, probably, uh, to my tank would be useful. I think reflex saves from AoE spells stuff. Plus he doesn't have one. So, here we go. Or it probably doesn't stack with some, right? Yeah. Okay, can you... Where? Okay. Oh! It's, uh, spells. I... Did I? Yep, I did give it to you, so... And even on him, it's... Okay, let's, let's try on Edgar here. Nope. How about you? Uh, well, it, it works for you, so I guess you have it. Um, okay, yes, I think I'll make a cut here, and we'll continue in the next episode. Thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, goodbye.